We can use the cat command to view the contents of any text file. For example, in this directory, I have the following files, including and, cat names, cats, game, and mouse. If I type cat and, I can view the contents of that file. If I view cat mouse, again, I'll see the contents of that file. If I type cat and mouse, you'll see why we call the command cat, because it'll actually concatenate or chain together the contents of the first and the second file. Well, that's a pretty cool stunt, but suppose we actually want to save our work. We'll type cat and mouse, use the greater than operator to send that output to a new file, which we will call game. To view the contents of game, we simply type cat game. And you'll see the game contains the expected result of cat and mouse game. Now suppose that you'd like to view the contents of a much larger file, a file that can't fit on a single screen. To do this, we will send the contents or the output of the cat command to a second command. So cat, cat names, more. When you want to view the second or subsequent pages, you simply press the space bar. Now, suppose that you'd like to search for particular cats in your cat file. You can do that using a second command called grep. So we'll do cat, cat names. We'll use the pipe symbol, just like we did before, which you'll find under the backspace. You'll have to press a, a shift to reach it. And we'll send, we'll send the output this time to grep. Now, grep will take the contents of regular expression, and it will search on the basis of those characters. So exactly what a regular expression is, is a story for another day. But in short, it's a series of characters that will tell grep what to search for. So for example, if we type caret, capital T, that'll tell grep to look for words that begin with T. The period represents any character, and the asterisk is like making that plural. So this will find words that begin with a T and have any number of other characters. And you see the results are Tabitha, Tabby Abby, all the way down to Tia Tocone, which is the Finnish word for computer, and finally Tux. Well, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and look for some more episodes coming in the near future. Thank you. Goodbye.